Hello everyone, today is a new day, new life, new beginning, and new lesson. So our lesson for today is about addition property of equality. So we have some examples here. So let's start with example number one. So we have here x minus 16 is equal to 36. So pag sinabi natin addition property of equality, um, i-apply natin dito yung rules of uh, addition and subtraction of integers. Okay, so in number 1, x minus 16 is equal to 36. So, paano natin tatanggalin ang negative 16 para maging 0? Kasi, kailangan natin i-isolate si x. When we say isolate, dapat si x ay mag-isa lang on the left. So, since negative 16 ito, then mag-a-add tayo ng 16 para matanggal si negative 16. So, x minus 16, mag-add tayo ng 16. Kung ano man yung number dito, kung negative siya, positive naman yung lalagay natin. It's equal to 36. Kung ano yung dinagtag natin dito, ganun din sa kabila. So, since nag-add tayo ng 16, mag-add din tayo ng 16. Okay? After that, cancel na. Uh, kung Paano ang rules ng adding of integers? Adding integers with unlike sign, copy the sign with a greater value. Since they are the same number, so 16 minus 16 is 0. So, this must be cancelled. So, ang natira na lang ay si x is equal to 36 plus 16. So, 6 plus 6, 12. Carry 1. So, 3 plus 1, 4. Plus 1, 5. So, we have x is equal to 52. Now, paano natin malalaman if our answer is correct? So, let's do the checking. Okay. How do we check if our answer is correct? So, just copy the original equation. So, we have x minus 16 is equal to 36. Then, substitute the value of x with our x here. So, ibig sabihin, palitan mo si x ng 52. So, 52 minus 16 is equal to 36. So, 2 minus 6, it cannot be, so it becomes 12. And 4. So, 12 minus 6 is equal to 6. 4 minus 1 is equal to 3. So, 36 is equal to 36. If they, if they are equal, then your answer is Correct. So this is question mark, question mark. Okay? And if they are equal, put check on it. Then if they are equal, then it means to say your answer is correct. Okay? Next example number two. Let's do the same. So copy y plus 43. Okay? So since positive 43 to, ngayon naman, Ang ilalagay natin ay magsusubtract tayo ng 43. Is equal to negative 18. Since ang ginawa natin dito ay nagsubtract ng 43, magsubtract din tayo ng 43 sa kapila. Okay? So, cancel na itong dalawa kasi magiging 0 na siya. Kaya ang natira ay si y. Is equal to, kung pareho ang sign, kung ganitong uh, uh, Horizontal ang pag-aad. Kung ganyan pareho na ang sign, just copy the sign. And then, add the value or number. So, 8 plus 3, 11, carry 1. So, 4, 5, 6. So, we have y is equal to negative 61. So, to check if our answer is correct, substitute the value of y in our original equation. So, y plus 43 is equal to negative 18. Then, substitute the value of y, which is negative 61 plus 43 is equal to negative 18. Again, rules in adding uh, integers with unlike sign, copy the sign of the greater value. So, we have negative and then subtract the value or the number. So, 1 minus 3, it cannot be. 
So this becomes 11. This becomes 5. So 11 minus 3 is equal to 8. And then 5 minus 4 is equal to 1. Negative 80. So if they are correct, then put check. Okay? So again, as I had mentioned a while ago, there must be question mark here since uh, the proof or if you're proving and there's no, they are not yet equal, then put question mark. And if they are already equal, put check. So your answer is correct. Okay? Okay, so let's move on number three. The same, since the x is here, so let's stay in here. So negative 16, since negative 16, we will add 16. Okay, and then 27, since we add 16, we also add 16. Then 0, kung natira is si x, then 27 plus 16, so 7 plus 6, 13, carry 1, 2, 3, 4. So x is equal to 43. Okay, so let's check. 27 is equal to x minus 16. Substitute or uh, change the value of x with 43. So 43 minus 16 is equal to 27. And then next, 27, 43 minus 16. So 30, 3 minus 6, it cannot be. So 13 minus 6, we have 7. And then 3 minus 1, we have 2. So 27 is equal to 27. Therefore, our answer is correct. Is it right? Okay, so let's move to... Okay, so for our example number 4, we have negative 9 is equal to y minus 25. Okay, this is the shortcut method. So instead of doing the addition and subtraction, this is the shortcut method. So this, we have y. And then we have negative 9 here. So instead of adding or subtracting with the same number like this, mas mainam na ito ilipat natin sa kabila, pero papalitan natin ang sign. So since negative 25 siya, ililipat natin sa kabila, yung negative 25 magiging positive 25. Then after that, we have y is equal to 25 minus 9, we have, so 5 minus 9, it cannot be, so we have 15, and then we have 1. So 15 minus 9, 6, and then bring down 1. So y is equal to 16. Okay? Next, checking the same, negative 9 is equal to y minus 25. Negative 9 is equal to Ang y natin ay 16 minus 25. Okay? Then, copy negative 9 is equal to, remember, uh, law of adding integers, rules, I should say. So, if they are unlike sign, then copy the sign of the greater value. So, we have negative. And then, 16 minus, 25 minus 16 is equal to 9. So, it's correct. Okay? Okay, so number 5, let's do the same. So we have x here, then 29, just copy. Again, negative 43, transpose on the other side. So the negative side becomes positive, so this becomes positive 43. Okay, then x, add, since they have the same sign, 9 plus 3, 12, carry 1, so 4. Plus 3, 2, 3. So, 4 plus 3, 7. Okay. So, we have x is equal to 72. So, to check, substitute only. 29 is equal to negative 43 plus x. 29 is equal to negative 43 plus our x is 72. Then, oh sorry. Next, negative, positive, the greater value is 72, which is positive, so we have seven uh, positive sign. So, 43 minus 72, 12 
12 minus 3, we have 9. 6 minus 4, we have 2. Therefore, your answer is correct. Next, number 6. So, to show if they are really the same, and uh, to compare these two, we have negative 18 is equal to, so negative 14, ano gagawin natin? Mag-add tayo ng positive 14 plus y. So, since nag-plus tayo ng 14, mag-plus din tayo ng 14 dito. Okay? So, positive. Okay? So, ang mayayari, 0 na siya, di ba? So, we have y na tira, then 14 minus 18. Remember, so yung negative 14 natin dito, inilipat natin sa kabila, naging positive na siya. Okay? So, eto yung mangyayari. So, y na is equal to 14 minus 18. Since magkaibang sign, copy the sign of the greater value, which is the neg uh, 18. Negative. So, negative ang sign natin. 18 minus 14 is equal to 4. So, y is equal to negative 4. So, kung napapansin ninyo, eto or 4 and 5 ay mas matalik siya. So, instead na mag-add or subtract pa tayo ng number na katabi ng y, mas mainam na, ililipat na lang natin sa kabila with their opposite side. Okay? So, check. Negative 18 is equal to negative 14 plus y. So, negative 18 is equal to negative 14. Ang y natin ay negative 4. So, negative 18 now is equal to negative. They have the same sign. So, copy the sign. 14 plus 4, 18. So, negative 18 is equal to negative 18. Okay? Okay, so if I were you, it's up to you if you're going to use this one, the long method or the shortcut method. So sometimes we call this as addition property of equality, but uh, if you add or subtract like this one, we add in here and sometimes we subtract, it depends on the given, like with our previous examples. So pwede siyang mag-add or subtract. So pareho lang yung uh, uh, kalalabasan. Kasi, uh, ang rules ng integers ay uh, it's either the same sign or unlike sign. Okay? Okay, so bigyan ko pa kayo ng iba pang halimbawa. Okay, so for our example number 7, we have here x plus 29 is equal to negative 29. So, we will do the shortcut method para masanay kayo. So, x is equal to copy negative 29 and then, itong positive 29, ilipat sa kabila, palitan ang sign. So, yung positive maging negative, and then copy 29. Pagkatapos nyan ay, i-perform ang addition and subtraction of integers. So, since pareho ang sign, copy the sign, and then add. 9 plus 9, 18, carry 1, 2 plus 2, 4 plus 1, 5. Therefore, Rx is equal to negative 58. So, you can do the checking at home, okay? Okay, next number 8, we have negative y is equal to copy negative 40 transpose over equal sign. So, yung positive magiging negative and then copy 13. Then, negative y is equal to, since pareho ang sign, copy the sign and then add the numbers. 0 plus 3, 3, 4 plus 1, 5. So, since our variable y is negative, so, we need to multiply negative 1 or divide with negative 1. So, we will multiply negative 1 both sides. So, negative, negative, positive. Then, y. Negative times negative, positive. And then, 53 times 1, 53. Therefore, our y is equal to 53. Next, number 9. We have here x on the left. So, copy x is equal to copy negative 7.3 transpose this one to the other side so, since the, this is positive so gawin natin negative and then copy 40.2 then x is equal to subtract or add okay let's see since parehong sign copy the sign and then if they have the same sign add so 3 plus 2 
5. Then copy that. Decimal point. Then 7 plus 0, 7. And then copy 4. Therefore, our x is equal to negative 47.5. Okay. Okay, next. Number 10. The same step. Copy 1 is equal to 9.77. And then, the number in here, ililipat sa kabila. Palitan lang ang sign. So, since negative siya, magiging positive. 27.23. Then, copy y is equal to, since pareho silang positive, then our sign is positive. And then, add the value or numbers. So, 7 plus 3, 10. Carry 1. So, 7, 8, 9, 10. Carry 1. So, 9, 10, 17. Carry 1, 2, 3. 3. So, we have 3. Therefore, decimal 2, 1, 2. Our answer is equal to 37. Okay? Okay, so ganyan lang ang addition property of equality. Mag-add lang tayo or mag-subtract sa kung anumang number na katabi ng variable natin. Okay? Or, ang shortcut method niya, kopyahin lang yung equation or yung variable on the side where it sits or where it is. And then, ililipat lang natin yung number na katabi ng variable sa kabila. So, kung ano man yung sign niya dito, kapalit na lang sign niya ang ilalagay natin sa kabila. Ito yung sinasabi nating transposition. Ang transposition, if you transfer the number besides the variable, if you transfer on the other side, change the sign. So, if it is positive, move to other, over the equal sign, magiging negative. Or kung negative, if you transfer over equal sign, then magiging positive. Okay? Okay, so that's all for today. I hope you learned from this video and I hope to see you again. Thank you for watching. Bye and keep safe.